Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video we are going to go back to our Phobos and Deimos missions. We still have to position a satellite in a stationary orbit of Deimos there. That's a very important contract. But before we do that I decided it'd be good to queue up something on the build list because this in particular will take 541 days to build and it is of course our station contract our first space station technically it is the first space oh i don't i haven't picked up the contract yet because it has the time limit but the first space station contract in the milestones section there have been other station contracts but this is the official milestone one and in order to do it i've had to spend a lot of money to unlock some station modules we had 1.4 million but we're now down to 700,000 because I had to unlock this station node and that is the equivalent of like a unity or destiny uh, unity or harmony module sorry and uh, then also the airlock the airlock is actually pretty expensive it's more than three times the unlock cost is more than three times the base cost so it's more than 300,000 funds and then this was uh, quite a bit <laughs> anyway it was a uh, quite hefty unlock I decided to go with these two and they are now in here and of course to launch them is a whole other cost too because they their own baseline cost is very expensive as well as you would expect for station modules after all so this is what it looks like the quest equivalent module and then the unity slash harmony module here if you're using these are from the crew vessels pack and if you're using them uh, note that they have volume available. They don't come with a whole lot of food, water, and oxygen packed in, but you can pack in more, which I have done. I don't know why they're MLI layers. We don't need that. Um, and so altogether, we have about nine months of food, water, and oxygen for four crews. So that's quite a lot. And yeah, we can expand it. We've got all the docking ports and, of course, a service module to make sure it gets into the right orbit, provide some power, provide some comms. And we're controlling with this payload adapter that I scaled up to 2.5 meters, even though that means it's heavier than it really ought to be. But we also have some MH and Mon 3 here. Uh, we do not want to fill that up yet, but we have the room just in case we need to uh, pack it in. Basically, this module is sized so that we could fit the solar rays on. We really need better solar panels, though. So, yep, we will have the power. We have all the things. So anyway, this is going to take uh, quite a long time to build, so I decided that we should start right away. It is still under our pad limit, uh, 800 tons, but in order to do that we have to shorten up this stage. This is the same rocket that launched our moon mission, our moon landing mission. However, uh, it used to have two engines here. I cut that down to one and reduced the length of the stage because we're just trying to get to low Earth orbit. We didn't need all that. Of course, it does rely on the reliability of this engine so hopefully that works out for us and yeah yep that's just gonna be how it is so we are going to build one and that cut now well, our budget's really low so we better do that day most mission otherwise we're gonna be in a tight place Mind you, we haven't actually picked up the station contract yet. That gives an advance of 500,000, so that'll help us out a little bit. But uh, basically, that would be enough. If this launch fails, we could probably build another one, and but that's about it. So, really hoping it doesn't fail. Okay, here we are with the Phobos sat, and I'm going to get rid of the alarm. Uh, we have deviated a little bit from our original uh, orbit, so the maneuver node isn't quite right. Uh, we have comms, even though the line seems to be actually going through. Oh, we're probably communicating through that satellite anyway. Anyway, we're going to try and land this on the daylight side of Phobos, which also happens to be the side facing Earth. So that'll be good. And so now I'll go retrograde. Hopefully we'll have enough charge for the landing. After that, once we're on the surface, it can recharge. Oh, but its panels are facing downward. We'll have to think about that. It's complicated because, of course, if we maneuver it, it could randomly go on escape again. So, we'll probably expedite it somehow. Once we get below a certain point, it's going to limit our time warp and that's going to be irritating. Um, at least at this angle, it seems like we're getting some sunlight, so we'll stay here. 
We're just trying to get some science out of this. Oh no, Mars is blocking our way, with the sun at least. So we're not recharging, even though the surface seems completely lit. I think we're gonna be around the edge, it doesn't really matter too much. By the way, we'll barely stick to the surface. Stickney Crater. Well, let's see... Sciences? Oh no, the gravity data is new over Stickney Crater. Oh, I shouldn't have transmitted. Shoot. Stop, trans stop, 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 stop. Okay, we stopped transmitting and now we're getting more power again. Oh, uh, oh shoot, that's faster than I thought. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I didn't realize we were coming in this fast. Uh, ah, we broke a panel. We're skidding, we're skidding along the surface. No. Well, now these tiny little thrusters aren't very good. We Phobos braked a little bit. We broke on Phobos. It <laughs> went one way or another. Uh, interesting stuff down there. Really wish these panels actually rotated. Okay, we're going back down again, but we're on Phobos's grooves now instead of that Stickney crater. And hopefully turning for sunlight. We're gonna land on the dish, which isn't great, but... Let's see... Well, we, we also can't transmit much... Because we don't have the power right now. And now we only have two panels. Well, we've also got a temperature scan from Grooves of Aphobos. But we certainly don't have enough power to transmit that yet either. Okay, we're sort of skimming on the surface. Okay, alright, I'm gonna try and plant us. Okay, it's auto-saving. Maybe that means it thinks we've landed. Well, it's allowing us to do full time warp, so it does think we're landed. And I'm just trying to get power here, but can we get enough power before we get into the dark side? Oh, it's already losing power. Oh, nuts, because the sun... Wait, we're supposed to be getting power like that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, I don't think this is going to be the best way to get science. You know what? Maybe we should grab some science and go. Log, yeah, overwrite, uh, keep. Um, hold on, this is not... Okay, well, I guess we'll have to wait until we're, we've settled down to the bottom. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if that temperature scan was from the surface, I don't think so. Okay, well, that's zero. Are we landed? Observe plants. I, I don't know if that's from the surface or not. Well, we're definitely not on the surface anymore, so... I wouldn't blame it if it wasn't from the surface right there. I want to verify that we're getting surface stuff. Oh, we're we're not oriented for the sun anymore. Shoot. Uh, this this whole business of landing with this is not looking good. We are out of power, but Smart ASS will continue doing what it's doing, which is orienting to the sun. But we're almost out of fuel too. We've still got some signs that we got, I think, but whether we'll ever get to transmit or not with only two solar panels, I don't know. Okay, well this is gonna take too long. I'm just gonna leave this be. It'll crash into the surface and probably die. 
but I don't think we're going to get the science we want here. So we'll pass on this one. We'll try again with the Deimos one a little bit more carefully, make sh making sure that we have uh, topped off on electric charge in the first place. But yeah, let's just move on to the Deimos satellite. This is going to be too tedious as it is, and I think we'll just run a hydrazine eventually, and we won't have electric charge to transmit. So here we are with the Deimos satellite, and we are going to make maneuvers in order to get to Deimos here. We have to make a correction in order to get our encounter right there. And this correction also helps bring down our orbit so we don't have to do everything in Phobos S uh, sorry, Deimos SOI. So as far as landing is concerned, that's sort of extra anyway. These probes weren't particularly well configured for landing, especially I should have had the solar panels facing the opposite side. So yeah, we'll see what we can do, but if we don't land, it's fine. Uh, maybe I'll try and land it with this bus here instead of just the top part, but then uh, it will be very sensitive and have a tough time sticking to the surface, so we'll have to think about that. But it'll have extra solar power though. Not that we're recharging right now because we are, well, we're sort of f facing the sun direction. Maybe we should just ditch it. Maybe it's not so good. Uh, it's probably taking up too much power. I don't know. It does have its own control core. Anyway, so let us just get rid of that alarm and let's get started with this. After we get some science out of these things, I will definitely prioritize better solar panels, I think. That is necessary. The station could do, the, uh, do well with those as well. Okay, uh, ignition. Okay, that'll be good enough. We have that encounter there. All right, on to Deimos. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Deimos just sort of snuck up on me there. Uh, we're a little bit high, but we'll be in the SOI. Let's just go retrograde. Okay, we'll just do the rest with S, uh, RCS. We have to get into that one orbit though. So right now we are in this sort of orbit, and yeah, um, which way around are we going? That way. Okay, so around here-ish, and it has to be over a certain point our orbit. But let's do this inclination correction first. It's not like we're short of delta V, so one thing at a time is probably for the best. Oh, we lost comms right there. Well, there's the opposite point that we can do this maneuver at. Oh, not if we actually escape. <laughs> We're supposed to be pointing right at the sun, but it's not recharging. Oh, um... Deimos, it's... Oh, Mars is in the way. Okay, two meters per second there. We'll try that. Deimos still has that little spike on it. So the area that we need to hold stationary around is over here. So we definitely don't want to circularize yet. Okay, it worries me that the apoapsis isn't showing up there, but we should still be in Deimos orbit there. Um, we have to wait though. I mean, directly above is... How touchy are we talking about here with directly above anyway? This is looking pretty good right now, but it's not directly directly. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have some power, we have comms. I'm gonna try and circularize. Well, that would be a fairly good match if it was happy with it, but it's not happy with it. Um. We're sort of slower at one end. Okay, well. Since we're slower, we'll wait. Maybe we'll be more directly over our target. 
Oh, it, it accepts that we are above the area now. But we'll need to stay above the area on this side. Right where we cross that would be good. Um, electric charge is all over the place. Uh, let's let's start making adjustments here. Oh, uh, come on, don't be picky. This is Deimos. Can't be picky about Deimos. I think it's gonna be picky about Deimos. Oh, there we go. We got it. Ooh, touchiest orbit you could possibly want to try to get into, but we fulfilled the contract. How much money do we have? Well, 1.2 million now, so we're we're in much better shape. But we are going to recharge and wait until we are fully recharged now. Okay, we have fully recharged now and we're still oriented like that. Let's try and do some science up here. As I don't think we would have done any. Temperature scan high over Deimos. Well, we only get one of those. Um, but the gravity scan we'll get more than one of. Log pressure data. There we go. Okay, but let's try and get some of this gravity data from different biomes. But most of it seems to be highlands, um, judging from that current biome reading there. It's pretty much all highlands, isn't it? Deimos isn't lumpy like Phobos, at least this rendition of it isn't. Well, we're in a perfectly equatorial orbit for the contract, so it's probably a good idea if we go into a polarish orbit instead. We should be going this way around. We'll just recapture at periapsis. Let's see if we get some other biomes. Craters. Okay. It's like probably all craters, but... Okay, well, we've recaptured. But maybe we should land right here. Alright, we'll try and land on the dish. Oh, all the extra electric charge was on that. Shoot. Ah, uh, we have much less electric charge here now. Well, I'm holding this orientation to make sure we stay charged. Okay, just for safety's sake, bring in the solar panels. Okay, final bit of the landing here. <laughs> And the dish will kiss the surface. Okay, well, let's plant it. All right, science. Um, well, transmit that. Okay, let's get the... Hold on, keep that. Let's extend this solar panel at least. That one might nudge us, so I'm not going to do that. I'll do the other solar panels. doesn't quite have us recharging, but it's close. Okay. Barometer. Transmit. And... I think that means it's the landed version. So, transmit. And we got it. So it's just the goo left. But we're not quite recharging without this one, so I'm going to extend it, but hopefully it won't... Okay, it's short enough. Um, now we're recharging. Okay, let's see what the goo has. Observe plants. It's only 15 science, how much power can it take? Um... Oh, not that much. Alright, so we did... we did everything. I don't think with the hydrazine we have here we can actually land in a second spot right now, especially since it seems to be lowlands, highlands, and craters. It's probably a long distance, if you will, to the next one. And yeah, I think I'm satisfied getting what we've gotten here. We'll just leave this here as a monument, if you will. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
dish facing downward monument. But anyway, let's go back to Space Center and see what our science can get us. We've uh, we've got some weird cloud phenomenon there for some reason. I've never seen that. That's weird. I feel like Deimos has glitched us somehow. Normally gl uh, Deimos is glitchy, but now it's glitched the Space Center. That is very strange. Let's hope that fixes itself after we change scenes. So, uh, we have 644 science. We don't have any science queued up right now. So, we should probably get some. Uh, well, looks like there's the solar panel arrays that actually turn to face the sun, so... Let's get that. I'm tired of this nonsense uh, with the power and all. So sun tracking solar panels will be good. And you know what? Let's also get the nice big relay dishes. This will save us a whole lot of trouble. So we'll use research to get those as well. So I, I think we can all agree that those are the most important things at this point, having experienced all the frustrations and everything. Uh, no, the cloud is still there. <laughs> uh, and it's a weird cloud if you take a look. I mean, it's got, yeah, it's like an old 4-bit cloud thing. Okay, after a restart, the cloud is gone. And we need to not only build Station 1, it occurs to me we need to make a crew capsule as well. So the milestone contract, this first space station, requires us to have space for a crew, which we will have. And... Uh, part of that is there's actually room for two crew in the airlock. And then we have to send two crew to the space station and have them stay there for 30 days and then return the crew home. So that means that within the duration for the contract, the 730 days, we also have to send a crew capsule up to it. So we should be building that now as well uh, because we do have two build slots, even though the second one is a little bit slow. Uh, so I'm going to refurbish this Lynx S2. We don't need the S3-3. Well, I mean, it probably doesn't matter too much which one we use. Um, because the service module is gone anyway. Maybe we'll use the S3-3. In either case, it's just the capsule. It's not the whole deal. So, yep, just this. I never know if the parachutes are all right. I mean, the wastewater and all this stuff is still the same from when we picked it up. So we have to reset these. But do the parachutes automatically reset? Well, I'm not going to trust them. Uh, maybe we should use these. These are sun tracking. I just don't like that they're the six panel version. Uh, this, this version. But sun tracking is better than not sun tracking, obviously. Well, this core definitely doesn't have enough thrust weight ratio to lift without the boosters, but we have some extra delta V here so we can shorten it, but we probably need a few boosters. Okay, I think two boosters will do. I hope two boosters will do. And everything else seems to be configured properly. We have enough delta V as far as I can see, unless the station has to be put into some weird orbit, which I don't think so. I think it's... Uh, it's a whatever orbit we feel like kind of station. And so this will be it. Let's save these. Uh, let's call it uh, Lynx Leo. Now, to stop confusing things. And I'll save that. And save edits. And so that'll be 100 days or so. And we're going to have to do some time warping. Um, that cost that didn't cost as much as I was concerned it would cost, but we're taking a lot of time, 500 days to build the station. So I'll try and speed things up. I don't think we can speed things up too much. We can speed up the second build slot a lot faster than the first one. Maybe that'll get them done at about the same time. Um, actually, the Lynx Leo will be done first already. Uh, well, we'll speed up the first build slot a little bit more then. Okay, 13 build points in the first one, 3 in the second one. And I have no choice but to 
this time warp. I don't think these Mars probes are going to be any better than the previous ones, so we are going to avoid that. We could probably do some additional rescues. Right now we don't have any contracts active, by the way, so we're just doing the station thing. I'll just time warp. It's 2027. We're completing high power electrics here, and I think I'll bring in the station and replace the solar panels. So let's just edit that. This mess of solar panels that wouldn't turn can go away. Which one should I get? Um, X, XT4, level 4 solar panel. Or level 3 solar panel. I don't know why we would get the level 3 solar panel. This one has the KSB interstellar stuff on it too. The beamed power stuff. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing going forward, but uh, maybe I should get a mix of both, really. Probably would be safer, but okay. Well, we don't want them to get in the way of the thrusters, but maybe this will be alright. Oh, it should be more solar pan uh, solar power than we were originally generating, so that should be good. And it doesn't seem to have taken more time, so a worthwhile replacement. Let me just save that and save edits. The Neon L, the lower orbit Neon rocket, is capable of 40 tons, I think, actually. Okay, well, I am going to pick up the contract. First space station. We've got the advance. We should have used the advance to... Well, we didn't have time to use the advance to speed up the contract, but I could have used more funds to speed up the construction in light of the fact that I was going to get the advance. Didn't think about that. All right, rolling out. And we will try to launch it in this video. Cross your fingers, you know. Stuff went wrong with Skylab too. Uh, select crew. No crew on this. We send crew later. It just wants it above 400 kilometers. The rest is up for grabs. Okay. SAS on. Thrall is up. Ignition. We have six engines by the look of it. And launch. And it is off the pad. We don't have a tower, so I can't say it has cleared the tower. Oh, Milky Way. Okay, getting ready for booster separation. And booster set. Okay, they are off. Uh, something's wrong with the staging here. Okay, final staging check. Okay, separation. Separation. And ignition. Okay, we have ignition of the Hydrolox engine. And fairing set. Big fairings this time for the station. We've got plenty of time to apoapsis. This is a fairly long burn and low thrust weight ratio 0.5 G's with this Hydrolox engine. Very Hydrolox stagey. But it is carrying a heavy load in this case. It's actually a fairly powerful engine, 360 kilonewtons, but with this load, I mean two different station modules plus that little uh, service module there. We can unlock this tank now. So, the station itself has about 700 or so. Okay, we're about to make orbit. I'll cut this stage short of orbit so it deorbits. And shut down. And separation. And ignition of the station's service module engines. It has backup, so there's two 12, new, uh, 12 kilonewton ones and one 37 kilonewton one. They each have 40 ignitions only though, so that is a downside. We might need to do an EVA to replace them or something. 
I'm just gonna boost straight to the 400 kilometers that we need. Well, it is a relief. It's nice to have it in orbit and everything. Um, I guess we have to do activate receiver on these. I hope they work properly. I'll just get it to 430. And that's good enough. And then we will circularize. Seems like we are recharging. Next we get to test whether the RCS works. Looks like it's good. Well, this is all a relief, because this is one expensive station. We could have come up with a cheaper station, with like Mark 1 lander cans or something, and just stringing things together, but I wanted it to look halfway decent, and this is a start. It's gonna end up probably, if we add more modules to it, it'll end up looking more like uh, mirror than anything else, but we will take it. We don't need all of the engines, we can save the ignitions, and so I'll shut that one down. Just use these two. So again, these modules come with the crew vessel pack. Uh, the shadows are there because of the equipment bays that they attached to the quest module, and unfortunately the NASA model had those shadows from those modules baked in. Uh, so these textures are not made by me. This is all made by NASA itself. So yeah, I just took what they gave me. Uh, there's no easy way to clean those shadows off. Okay, about a 430 kilometer orbit and we have plenty of fuel to go elsewhere. But it acknowledges that I did launch a space station and placed it into orbit. So that part is good. And uh, it says orbiting, it's counting down the days. It says crew at least two check marked. I don't know, but, but it hasn't got the bring at least two crew. Okay, so that's confusing, isn't it? First, we have to do this. I, I don't know. Uh, something about the contract is wonky as it always is. But hopefully, it'll uh, figure it out at the end. I might end up force completing it if it doesn't. It has all these parameters and I really wish it gave me like a progress bonus for getting the space station into orbit, but apparently not. Okay, so next time we will try to get crew up here. We've already built the crew module, so I mean the links of course. And we will see how that goes. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.